Good morning everyone, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome all subscribers, welcome new. If you like my videos, please press the like button, please do subscribe. It's the 2nd of January today and it's raining outside. It's quite bad, it's wet and it's raining. <coughs> So it's Tuesday, Tuesday, the 2nd of January, I'm at home in my flat, um, my foot um, feels better than it did yesterday, however it's still in a bandage, my foot, I stood on my feet for a hell of a long time watching the fireworks, so did everybody else. There was thousands and thousands of people stood there and they all must have like had really sore feet at the end of the day and we all had to make our way home in the dark and um, it wasn't, it could have been worse, put it that way, it could have been a lot worse. There were, there were there were actual, there were protests going on as well. What? New Year's Eve, there were protests um, going on in London. It can be a very scary, uh, a violent place. I wouldn't want to live in London. I'm glad where I do live is people are angry, there were protests going on and the the fireworks were peaceful where i was it was peaceful right it was quiet it was a lot quieter than i thought it was going to be rowdy yelling screaming but it was it, it, the, the people some of them were aggressive like pushing shoving you out the way um there's no respect in this country anymore for anybody. You, you didn't, there's no politeness, like, excuse me, it's like, push. Not everybody. Some people are still really polite and they apologise, but some are so aggressive. There's a lot of young people that are angry, and I can understand that, what they're going through, but it shouldn't take it out on the members of the public, that's all. If you're upset with things in this country, right, protest about it in a, in, a, in, a, in a decent manner. Don't push and shove and cause violence. It's unnecessary. Um, so yesterday I have had, I really did, my foot was excruciating. And I mean it was excruciating just to stand on the bottom of my left foot. Um, so, I am cushioning the bottom of the foot with bandage, I put, I rubbed deep heat, heat in it last night, I found some, because in the co-op there's nothing like that in there, there's painkillers, but there's no pain relieving gel, so I had to rummage around and I found a, a tube of deep freeze and an unopened uh, box of deep heat so I rubbed the deep heat in my foot last night and I bandaged it and I went out with Max about 10 to 7 and again it was it was dark it was raining it was wet and when it's cold and wet that makes pain worse any type of pain rheumatic pain arthritis the cold weather and the damp makes pain worse I struggled along with it and I just walked Max around the block and then we, we came home. There was one woman outside with a yellow raincoat on, like my yellow coat. She had a yellow raincoat on and she coughed. As I walked past her, she went, <coughs> and I just walked on, right? People do do that. They won't cough until I walk past them. This stems back from what I was told when I came down in 2008, but I'm not going to go down to it, the coughing. 
I was told why people were coughing and it's satanic the reason why people are coughing when they walk past me is satanic my mother was yesterday my not yesterday when I went up to my mother's she said we're gonna wash the devil out we're gonna get rid of the devil we're gonna wash him out get rid of the devil That's why I'm taping what my mother is saying when I'm round there. That's why I'm taping it. It's satanic abuse. Satanic. She was going on about Satan, the devil. Uh, the devil needs to be washed out, got rid of, in other words. And um, she t when I first came down in 2008... <coughs> 2008, no word of a lie, my mum said that Chatham was the underworld where the devil lives and that Rochester was the red light district and if you look in, if you look up Google Rochester red light district it'll take you back to years ago when prostitutes used to hang around Gas Road prostitutes used, years ago used to hang around the gas road area where they stuck me prostitutes so the reason why people are coughing is satanic it's satan worship devil worship it is and it's going on in 2023 um, 2024 I want to be a year of change a year where I get things done unfortunately I've got a bad foot so I won't be going anywhere today but you, you, you know you can be happy indoors Alexa good morning good morning January was named after the Roman god Janus he had two faces so he could look forward to the coming year, and back into the year before. But if you only have one face, I advise just looking forwards, or you might trip up. Alexa, what's the time, please? Good morning, Crystal. It's 9.04am. Alexa, what's the date today? Today is Tuesday, the 2nd of January. Alexa, what is the weather like? In Rochester. It's 11 degrees Celsius with rain. Today's forecast calls for more of the same, with a high of 12 degrees and a low of 8 degrees. Alexa, can you tell me a joke? What kind of shoes do ninjas wear? Sneakers. Alexa, whose birthday is it today? Today's famous birthdays include American actress and model Shelley Hennig. Chilean musician Christelle, British politician Kenny Badenoch, Canadian politician, leader of the New Democratic Party Jagmeet Singh, and American actress Renee Elise Goldsberry. Right guys, like I said, it's Tuesday, it's raining, not a lot you can do in the rain. A lot of people have gone back to work today. Um, I can hardly walk on my left foot. Um, I've been looking up online what causes bad feet, it can be arthritis, it just can be your age. I'm 55 for God's sake. I've been on this planet for 55 years walking on the same feet. Um, so my, my, you know, there's a guy on YouTube, um, there's two guys that give a good advice for pain in the foot. So I, I would, well, last night when I was in bed, I was lifting, it says, lift, elevate your leg above your heart. So something about to do with the circulation of the blood to your foot. So I was lifting my leg up in bed, exercising the foot, and it actually has helped. I did rub deep heat in it before I went to bed. 
I've got up, I bandaged it ready to walk, walk Max, covered it in a bandage. If it carries on, I've, I'm going to obviously have to go to the doctors with it. Um, you can wear a splint in bed, a splint on it. But basically, as our bodies age, you know, you, 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 your body parts wear out. You, your body gets old, it wears out. It's like a car that's used day after day. It gets rusty, worn out, right? You, you, your body wears out. Years ago, we didn't live as long as we did. People are living longer. You get more people that live to nearly 100, right? So, our people died earlier years ago. Your body does wear out. Your muscles, your bones, you know, and your organs wear down, they wear out. And you can't replace everything, so you have to, like, just look after it. So my foot's bandaged, and I'm going to walk my dog. And where I used to live, the town centre, it's like three minutes away you just walk down the road to go to the shops here the nearest supermarket is morrison's in strood which is a 30 minute walk away and so is sainsbury's in chatham either that i mean it's pointless going on the train to strood because you've got to walk this, this train station is a fair walk to strood Chatham, yeah, the train. That's why I use the train. <coughs> I don't like buses, I'll be quite honest. All squashed up in a bus. All those germs contained in a bus. I don't like buses at all. On a train, right, you can move up and down the train different carriages if you get trouble. On a bus, you're, you're stuck in there. Um, so I was sat down last night playing my emergency services game with ambulance, uh, dog police, fire brigade, paramedics. I was playing that. Playing a fashion game, and I was looking on TikTok, and Jeremy Clarkson was saying that he, his body is breaking down, and that he he thinks he's got dementia. Jeremy Clarkson is on TikTok. Um, yeah. He was. The, I think he was the guy that talked about Meghan Markle wasn't he? He spoke, spoke about Meghan Markle um, saying that she should have shit thrown at her. She should, she should parade naked around the streets like Lady Godiva and have poop thrown at her. I'm sure it was Jeremy Clarkson that said that. I'm not sure. And that was um, the year before this one. When I, I walked from Chatham to Rochester, minus two, and everybody was laughing at me because I couldn't get a taxi home. I had to walk home miles uh, in the freezing cold because my mum had one of her episodes. And you see what my mother's episodes are like. They're online. She had one of her episodes before I left Christmas last year the year before last she had an episode and um, there's no way I'm staying with my mother overnight in a flat with her raging anger like that so I couldn't get a taxi home and I walked minus two conditions from Chatham to Rochester because she had one of her episodes because we were ringing around for taxis and I think eventually we would have got one, but um, she went, you can't stay here, you can't stay here, you can't stay here. And she was panicking.
mannequin. So I just walked, walked out the door and left because I couldn't stand her behaviour. And I carried bags home like a donkey. I nearly killed myself, I nearly collapsed. That's why I don't want that happening again. When I go up to my mum's, I always make sure that I've got money in case she has one of her episodes so that I can get my own taxi home. Or I've got Uber working because there's no way with my foot like it is that I can walk home from Chatham to Rochester. She said she, she lost, she's very callous as well. She, she goes to me, you used to walk up here, didn't you? That was from Lansdowne Court, which was a lot a shorter walk. I'm older myself now. I was 15 years younger. But people with dementia and Alzheimer's can get very aggressive and attack you. I mean, I hope she ne never forgets who I am. There's carers out there that have to put up with, with their parents screaming, shouting, Who are you? Who are you? I don't know who you are. What do you want? And they have to look after you. That's why they need professional support and care. Because we are normal human beings. And when someone shouts and spits and says they hate you, it's hard to deal with. That's why these people need support and special care. But in Great Britain, our care system is failing. The NHS is failing. And ordinary people are forced to be carers. And we're only human. And it hurts. And I, you don't know how to deal with it when someone gets violent and aggressive with you. It's, it's frightening. As well as upsetting. There is no support system in this country for mentally ill people either. They're wandering the streets. Wandering the streets attacking people. They're wandering the streets attacking people because they're, 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 there aren't enough people to go around to, to help these people. So today, like I said, it's raining. In the background, my kitten is just playing with anything it can find. A piece of tissue, a box. My elder cat is rolled up trying to go to sleep and it is manic, this kitten. It's just running around. I mean, that's kittens for you. He's lovely, but he won't sit still for five minutes till he's actually worn himself out and then he'll fall asleep in funny places. <laughs> I hope everybody had a lovely New Year. New Year's Day, I was actually by myself all day. I managed to get out to the shop. Um, there wasn't much much in the shop, to be fair. It wouldn't be over Christmas anyway, would there? So I just got a few snacks. Um, yeah, the world is a nasty, crazy place. We've got foreign people protesting in our country. They are getting aggressive with our women and etc, etc. And they are pushing people out the way of being violent and aggressive to females. Foreign men. Not all of them. I'm not going to say all foreign men are like it because... You know, I know foreign men that are really, really nice and polite. They hold the door out for a woman and they help her. But the foreign people that are angry, uh, they're protesting in our country, right? And they're pushing our people about. They're pushing innocent women and men about that are not involved with what they're involved with. So innocent people are getting abused by foreign people, and you know we li I've lived in this country. I'm I'm British born and bred. I was born in 1968. I'm white British, and I've lived here all my life. 
And when you get a foreign person pushing, shoving uh, and being disrespectful to you in your own country, it's really, really bad and despicable. If we went over to their country and started sticking our flags on their property, in some countries, they would shoot you. If we went to some to, 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 to their countries and stuck our flags everywhere and pushed their women around, do you think they would tolerate that? No, they wouldn't. So why do they come into our country and then start shoving and pushing me about, smiling and laughing like it's funny? It's despicable behaviour. And as I've said to, 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 to many people before, would they push their elderly mother over or their mother who's disabled? Would they push her out the way just to get through a queue? Would they? It's disgusting, despicable behaviour. Because there is no discipline, there is no policing, and, and everything, the system in this country is useless. The elites are all in their lovely homes, you know, protected, while the public are being mistreated. I don't really, re really watch anything royal anymore. I don't. These people are protected while we are being savaged outside. And I will continue to speak. And as for Prince Andrew, right, he is a sexual predator and the royals are protecting him, right? It's about time, you know, all this stopped. See you later.